We're currently facing the greatest crisis humanity will ever see. Therefore, the actions to try and push the government to act on that need to be proportionate to the scale of the crisis we're seeing right now. Grade two listed buildings being covered by paint, having their windows smashed, and people will rise up in horror thinking, oh my gosh, this is awful, this is awful. As a doctor all my life, I'm used to doing what's very difficult, and this is very difficult for me. I'm not saying it isn't. After a bit more time, the actions will be realised for what they are, which is a bloody great wake-up call to these political parties. We're using a tried and tested method of protest, disrupting organisations that are not doing enough. In the tradition of social struggle, this is what the suffragettes did. This is what people do when they're facing severe injustices in society. Beyond politics, it's a political party and the idea is for the party to come into power and relinquish its power to the people through citizens' assemblies. Wouldn't it be much better if we had citizens' assemblies where the 1% make up 1% of the people making decisions? The Green Party are sitting on their asses, quite frankly, while the government gets away with atrocities in terms of adapting to four degrees centigrade of warming. And they've been doing this for decades. If they really cared about the climate crisis, they would join us in nonviolent direct action and try and bring down this atrocious government that's killing people. At stake is the whole beautiful life on Earth. Um, and for this is a bit of paint.